open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the lobes because of their friendship he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence and I tell you ask and you will receive seek and you will find knock and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks, find. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What a father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. May dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. How are you today? How has been your life since early this morning up until the very moment? Maayos po ba ang pakiramdam? My dear brothers and sisters, we are continuing on, we, we continue our reflection on Jesus' instruction intended for us that we may have an intimate relationship with the Father. Hopefully, going deeper and deeper as we do relate or build or develop our intimate relationship with everyone we love. You know, it feels joyful and wonderful hearing people's stories and testimonies of answered prayers. Indeed, this affirms that the Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, looks at us with utmost love despite our inabilities for intimate relationship with him. However, there are also lots of our brothers and sisters who are struggling with the problem of prayers not answered. Still others would sometimes try seeking, knocking, and asking for some needs, and after expressing heavily for their needs, run hastily without paying attention to what God might have whispered in their hearts, the answers to the pleas. Days before today, we have encountered Mary, who rather preferred to sit and listen to our Lord Jesus Christ and pray with him over and above Martha who had been so anxious of a lot of things 
doing lots of things for the both of them. Wala pong masama sa ginawa ni Martha. Walang masama sa kanyang pagka abala because that's her expression of, of, of her love for the Lord. But Jesus affirmed and was happy of Mary who preferred to sit down and to listen to him. Hindi katulad no, ng marami na nahihirapan sa kanilang sa kanilang mga panalangin hindi natutugunan, hindi nagtatagal upang malaman kung ang Diyos ay nasa kanyang tahanan at kung bubuksan ba ng ating Panginoong ang pinto at sasagutin ang kanyang ang ating mga kahilingan, nawawalan tayo ng tiyaga. Kaya naman marami ang nanlalamig sa kanilang pananampalataya, hindi na sila nagsisimba, di rin tumatanggap ng mga banal na sakramento dahil sa kanilang sularinin tungkol sa panalangin hindi pinagbibigyan at di nakatatanggap ng kasagutan. Pero di nga ba it took just a while sa isang alagad na humiling sa ating Panginoong Sokristo na sila'y turuan manalangin. At binigyan niya tayo ng pattern para sa panalangin which encourages us to pray to the Father for His concerns. And what are those? Sambahin ang banal niyang pangalan. And that His kingdom may come to us. And manalangin din tayo tungkol sa mga pangangailangan ng iba. That basic requirement of building up a relationship with the Father to know Him and that His kingdom may be ours. And so when you belong to a family, when you, you, you belong to, to a particular community, hindi ba kung ano ang ginagawa ninyo nila at ginagawa ng ay ginagawa din natin. That kind of belongingness. So that's an initial supposedly steps in being able for us to build our relationship with the Father. Now, Jesus shows us here how to approach God to receive the graces we need as we seek to do His will. Before that, I would be like reminding you that we're talking here about prayer. Prayer as in communication, as in conversation. And practically, the goal of prayer is to deepen our relationship with God. Secondary yung bibigay ko, yung gusto mo, kasi meron tayong magandang relasyon sa isa't isa. So, now, um, for us to be able to approach God, first, we have to be bold in our perseverance. We have to have bold persistence knowing that as a loving Father, He will provide for our spiritual good. God is our loving Father, my dear brothers and sisters. At all times, God is good and He knows our needs before we even tell Him. He gives our daily bread, yet it is His will that we are in constant communication with Him. I know parents can relate well to this kind of, you know, demands of our God. Minsan, sasabihin ng mga magulang o ng mga anak, hindi ako paborito ng nanay ko o tatay ko. Precisely because you don't need, you don't seek for whatever uh, from your parents. Over and above sa isang kapatid na dahil mayamayang kunti, hinihingi ang lahat, lahat-lahat, that makes our parents like um, mahalaga sa kanya. But you know, parents, when you ask them, I, I don't know if you have this experience, in, in moments that I have conversation with, with, with parents, they'd say, Father, mahal ko naman yung mga anak ko, pantay. It's just that yung isa kong anak, hindi siya masyadong palahingi, hindi siya demanding. And so, I believe na hindi niya kailangan yung mga bagay-bagay para sa akin. But you know, mahal ko yung mga anak ko. Alright? So, eh yung anak naman, nagtatampo na, kasi nga, Hindi man lang, dahil hindi nga siya, hindi niya ugali yung humingi. So, 
point here is, hindi nakapag-build ng maayos na communication with the parents for us with God. It may not be necessary that we lock ourselves in a room and pray for long hours, but it is possible to keep on praying while at work, while doing your household chores, while listening to the outburst of someone else. We must have to fill our minds with thoughts of God and to do such with much love. In fact, with this disposition of our heart and our mind, every little thing that we do becomes prayer in itself. You see? So it's not only, you know, praying is not only coming up with voluminous novena words to, to that uh, matter. Diba? Mahaba, madami. Jesus says, be, sim be simple in your prayers. Here, we're expanding the experience, the description, the notion of prayer. In the presence of God, with so much love, whatever you do, that act in itself becomes prayer. When we are persistent in our prayer, we have the tendency to know more about God and ourselves. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, we acquire additional knowledge and wisdom. We know better what to pray for. Moreover, we become more patient, very important, and more humble. I've mentioned this in, in the past few days. At ang pangunahing punto dito ay nais ng Diyos na manalangin tayo sa ganitong paraan. Nais niya na tayo ay maging matyaga sa pagdarasal at kailangan maghintay ng patuloy para sa mga sagot mula sa Kanya. St. Paul said that we have to pray unceasingly. Nangako ang Diyos ng sagot sa taong masigasig na naghahanap sa Kanya. However, as the Gospel revealed to us, we ask God for all our needs with the gift of God's Spirit. Everything that we ask for should be in the Spirit. Ang paghingi sa Espiritu ay ang paghingi na magkaroon ng parehong Espiritu na nagbigay inspirasyon sa ating Panginoong Sokristo sa Kanyang buhay at sa Kanyang mga gawain. Ito ay isang Espiritu na lubos na kaisa sa kalooban ng Ama. When we don't receive what we pray for, that is already the answer. That means we are not praying for what we are praying for is not in accordance with the will of the Father. Kaya nga in prayer, ginugusto natin ang gusto ng Diyos. Again, I've, I have to tell you this, that it's not a contest of wills kung sino ang makapananalo sa mga kagustuhan, kundi submissively, passively, we uh, submit to the will of the Father. Ano ang gusto ng Diyos para sa atin? Kaya nga tayo nagtatanong, nagkikipag-usap, nagdadasal sa Kanya. Pangalawa, sa ating Paraan kung papaano tayo mananalangin, base sa itinuro ng ating Panginoong Sokristo dito sa Talinghaga, is to approach God ng may pagtitiwala sa iyong panalangin. Uulitin ko po ang aking ibinahagi kahapon ng panalangin ay pagtitiwala sa Diyos na nagmamagandang loob sa atin at hindi makatitiis sa ating mga pangangailangan. Walang saysay mga kapatid ang panalangin kung wala itong buong pagtitiwala, full conviction, ng kagandahang loob ng Diyos. When the answer to our prayer is delayed, that is also the answer. God's timing is always the best, so we need to learn how to be patient and how to be humble. To be persistent or persevering and confident and trustful 
to God to grant anything that we ask for is something that we need to really practice so that it may become our second nature because He is our mighty and loving God. Above all, ang ating panalangin must be this, to be like Jesus so that we may grow in the likeness of the Father. What does that mean to pray to be like Jesus? Ano yung immediate nature ng ating Panginoong So Kristo? Mapagmahal, mapagbigay, mapagpakumbaba, no? maawain, at lahat ng magagandang pag-uugali. Sapagkat yan ang pag-uugali ng Ama. Kung hindi ganito ang motivation mo sa pananalangin mo, malamang sa hindi, ibinibigay ng Diyos. Kaya lang, medyo kailangan mo munang ayusin ang disposition mo, ang kalooban mo sa Kanya. Diba? Kaya nga, shortly, you have to be, prayer means taming our mind and purifying our heart. Purifying our heart. And everything will be given to you. We have to have the likeness of Jesus so that we may be like the Father, to know Him more clearly, love Him more dearly, and to follow Him more nearly and or closely. So mga kapatid, we can you know, talk about prayer and the experience of prayer and what to do about prayer in the next 24 hours, 3 days, 1 week. But if you do not practice it, you won't be able to build up what is being required of us in our relationship with the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. And so do it persistently and with faith. Amen. Please all stand.